Whether you're using a controller, accelerometer, or anything else, chances are you want to be faster at sim racing. And if you're a beginner, that can seem like a tough task. These six tips may not make you an overnight pro, but they will help you to understand whatever racing game is your favorite. First, there are very few hard and fast written in stone rules. Every car, track, game, and weather condition operates on its own set of rules and physics, and those are also adjusted by driver skill. Remember that these are just suggestions for learning new tracks or games, and eventually you're going to want to break most of them to keep improving. Everyone knows gas means go and brake means stop. In normal everyday driving, we use the same foot to control both inputs, which is fine. But when we're racing, we have times that it's valuable and even crucial to have both pedals pressed at the same time. They're not on-off switches. Instead, think of gas and brake having a percentage going from 0 all the way to 100. Releasing the brake while starting to press the gas makes it so that you can accelerate sooner and pick up speed on the straights. But this is just the beginnings of trail braking. Which brings me to reducing your coasting. Try to always have some amount of input from your gas or brake or both. Coasting doesn't pick up speed and it only slows you down a tiny bit. If you find you need to coast through a section of a corner, instead try braking later until you slow down just enough to hit the apex of your corner. Of course, you want to experiment with gas and brake inputs on every corner, which leads me to crashing effectively. Eventually you're going to push too much on a corner and you're going to spin out, crash, or roll over the line and invalidate your lap. As you push harder, you'll notice consistent areas that you miss every lap. These are the areas you probably need to adjust your throttle and brake, likely slowing down a little more. But if you're still not making it through those tough turns, then remember that it's okay to use assist. Most games have plenty of driving assists available. Automatic transmission, driving lines, braking points, ABS, and traction control all assist you in some way. Now it is true that once you know a track in a game, the best way to get faster is to start disabling these assists. Having at least the best driving line will show you a good area to start learning the track for braking points. Then you can adjust as you see fit. Most games will also give you several cues to let you know you need to fix something too. If you hear this, while you see this, it means it's well past time to shift up. Squealing tires means that you're near the limit of your traction, and pushing much harder is going to cause you to miss the turn or spin. Finally, if you ever take a look at your driver's hands, or your own for those of you who have racing wheels, and see this pretzel mess, but the car just isn't turning, it means you're turning too hard and moving too fast to make the turn. Remember to have fun. It is a game after all. If you're not enjoying yourself, then take a break and come back later. There have been studies that show if you practice something hard and then walk away for several hours, when you come back your muscle memory will have started to learn and you're going to be alert and ready for best results.